it's quarter to ten. My little Ruby is still fast asleep. I've just been a lot to fast asleep, so she definitely does need the rest. I'm trying to be quiet and not wake her up. Beautiful morning, as you can see, we've got some sunshine coming through. It's just so nice. So I'm just about to get myself some breakfast. You okay there, Winifred? You all right, my darling? Yes? Yeah, so it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Ah, right, breakfast this morning. So we've got pan plates, chopped banana, and skimmed milk. Ah, blue sky. Blue sky definitely, definitely makes you feel better. So Wednesday morning, I hope you're all going to have a really lovely day. I'm still waiting for little Ruby to wake up, bless her. Right, half past ten. So Ruby's just woke up, so we're just going to get her to do another test. Um, and fingers crossed, she might show negative, although she's still a bit coughing and stuff. So I'm not sure, but let's do a test. Right, I've set the timer for her test. Uh, so far it's shown as negative, which is good. It means that the virus has gone out of her system. So even though she still doesn't feel very well, she feels a bit better than she did. Um, but if she's not, if she's shown as negative, then I think that means she can come out of her bedroom and stuff. So at least she'll start to feel a bit better. She can get some fresh air and that. So fingers crossed it stays negative. It's negative so far, but you have to leave it at 15 minutes. So while we're waiting, let's get the boring jobs done. So... I'm not sure if you can see this, but on first inspection, it looks like she's negative. But when you look very closely, there is a very faint line next to the T. So um, I would say that she's still got it very faintly. So I would imagine it's now leaving her body. Um, but I would still class that as a positive because there is a very faint line next to the T. So hopefully by tomorrow, she will test negative. So we'll test her again tomorrow, but for today, We'll still continue to be careful near her and keep her in her room a little bit longer, bless her. She's been so brave. Here I am. Hello. So I'm just waiting for my water filter to go through. So I keep looking at my hair. I actually really like the colour it is now. But I desperately need to colour it. I've got horrible like grey roots and stuff and it's just an absolute nightmare. So I've got all white bits around here. And I think it's always the same, isn't it? You get to a colour you like and then you have to colour it to colour be greys up and then you don't like it as much. Ooh, it's not fair. So I'm wondering perhaps if I could just do my roots in the colour that I used last time. Or I have got a really red colour. So I've got a fake bit of hair. Well, it's real hair, but I've got a fake bit of hair um, that is a red colour. And I keep thinking, shall I do it red again? Look. Oh, or do we prefer it more of a brownie red? Can't make my mind up. It's terrible. And it's grown again as well because I did cut quite a lot off myself and it's actually got quite long again so it's probably ready for a bit of a trim but yeah I can't make my mind up so red not red red not red <laughs> so I've spent the morning faffing about so I've got my sparkly jumper on that I got the other day from River Island um I got one for my mom one for me they're so pretty so my next job is to empty the bin um and I'm just waiting for the water to go through my water filter before you can use it so oh it's so exciting on a Wednesday Hello darling, <laughs> are you okay? The sun's out today, you know, so you might be able to go for a walk in the lovely sunshine. What do you think? Yeah, you look really enthusiastic. Look at her face. Oh, that's a hard life being this cute, isn't it? Look at her little chin. <laughs> You've got such a funny face, Winifred. Her face is so flat, you know, when you look to the side lot, she's literally got no nose, poor girl. That's why you struggle, isn't it, with the heat, you poor little thing. Yeah, but you've got a very cute face. Look at that cute face. Say hello, everybody. I'm so cute and smushy. Look how your soft little ears are all folded up. Oh, Winifred, you have got the cutest face ever. Look at you. You're so adorable. <laughs> Bless her. She's so cute, isn't she? Lipstick of the day. So lipstick of the day today is an NYX one. So it's not A1 for a change. So it's an NYX liquid suede. And the colour is, I have no idea. Oh, Bella. So it's like a real metallic-y one. It's really cool. I really like it. I like metallic lipsticks. They're really nice. Lipstick of the day. 
outfit of the day i hope you enjoy these little outfits of the day so outfit of the day today is a river island jumper that we got the other week in the sale um and then these cropped black they have got wool in them trousers they are from the trash shop they're originally french connection so they are cropped and flared um not the sort of normal thing that i wear but i thought nice for a change and then i've got these cool boots on they're like little sock boots which were from marks and spencers but again i think i got them brand new from the charity shop they're really comfy i really like them as well they're not too high really nice and then back of the day is my chanel rock the corner bag because i thought the pinky color of it sort of complemented my jumper not that I'm really going anywhere. I might, I do need to go shop. I've got to fetch some grapes. Probably overdressed for fetching grapes and cleaning the house, but never mind. So, yeah, little outfit of the day. And then I have got some thick tights on underneath these trousers because it is really, really cold outside. Um, so that is my little outfit of the day. And obviously, we're very sparkly. Right, we are going out. We're going to the bin. <laughs> so exciting. Let's go. So when I was clearing out the other day, I found this in my little drawer. So I used to use this all the time, this little compact mirror. I've had it a very, very long time, probably had it about 16 years, something like that. It's gone very old and sort of fusty, but Ruby really, really likes it. So we wondered if we could clean the leather up, make it nice. So I've got my little box of leather creams. Let's see if we can do something with it. Mm, so I've polished it up, it's certainly cleaner than it was before. Um, yeah, it's pretty usable again now. Obviously, the mirror is still sort of tarnished in there, but there's nothing you can do with that. But then I quite like the aged look. It's quite nice. Yeah, good little job of polishing. And we've got to dinner time. I can't believe we've got to dinner time. Ruby's obviously feeling a bit better. She keeps talking. I've not heard her talk so much the last few days. So it's now half past twelve. I desperately need some dinner. I'm not sure what to have. Let's see what we can find. Ah, dinner. So for dinner today, we've got mackerel and brine, which is free, little tomatoes uh, and lettuce, which gives you two points back, seafood sticks, two points, and four of these little crackers, which is three points, and a cup of coffee in my oh, I love shopping mug. So after enjoying my dinner, you feel so much better when there's some sunshine about. Right, my dinner was lovely. So now I need to nip to shop to get some grapes. So I've told Ruby I won't be very long, so we're going to go to get some grapes, and we're going to have a very quick look into our shop, see if we can find something good. Let's go. And I've done a test. I am still negative. Thank goodness. Let's go. Okay, we've arrived. So we've literally got like 10 minutes. Obviously, we can't be very long. So we need to go and get some grapes and milk and we'll have a very quick look in the charity shop. Let's go. Yeah, it's 
development now that how much of it's being released. Well, of course. I mean, if, if, if that's going to be the case, you're not going to spend enough dollars, is that really? We all like to do in the car it's amazing what you can find in 10 minutes i'll show you when i get home let's go well i'm home and i've only been gone about 20 25 minutes while i've been gone we've had a massive delivery of tires or wheels whatever they are that james wanted that james has ordered and they've stacked them all in front of the door and i can't get in <laughs> i'll show you in a minute so i presume they're gonna be really heavy i've no idea i'm gonna get in the door I have to move that plant, I think, and climb around them because if they're heavy, I'm not in my back to move them. Wow, fancy putting them there. Ah, right, I've made it in the house. We've ordered Ruby a little treat to make her feel better. What have you got? Steve. A little jelly cat egg. Steve. Do you think Winnie looks impressed? Yeah. <laughs> this is very cute. Yeah. Right, are you ready, ladies? I'm going to take my dogs for a very quick walk around the block. Um, if I can get out the door. I've got that. Yeah, there's just a little gap. Right. Set him for a quick walk around the block. lovely outside it's a bit cold but really nice so cup of coffee in my Isle of shopping mug let's go see what we bought right so i've got some trousers i'm so into trousers i kind of like sneakily tried them on over my own trousers um and if they fit then i bring them home because they were literally like two pounds so i thought if they don't if they don't fit or i don't like them it doesn't really matter but they were two pounds so the nice gray ones and they got like a nice little tie waist belt I got a cool polo neck top for Ruby. Ruby's really into polo neck jumpers, so that was for Ruby. I got this cute Zara hoodie. Uh, not, I'm not really a hoodie person, but I did think with the grey trousers it might look really nice. And also, it got these super cute sparkly tassels. So it, it's still sort of following my thing of this year, the sparkles and the fluffles, because it's got sparkles. It's so pretty. Um, it's really soft. 
I also got this Cath Kids and Cardigan, which I don't I don't know if I like it or not. I don't know if it's a bit tight on me, but I thought my mum might like it. Or if not, I could probably stick it on eBay or something. But it's Cath Kids in, but it was so pretty. Um, so I'm going to have a play about with that. I got another pair of trousers. I can't believe it. So I got another pair. These are slightly a little bit big, but I thought I'd put a belt on. They'll be nice. So the Marks and Spencers ones, and they've got like a real lovely pale pink running through them. So I thought it'd be nice a lot of my pink jumpers and stuff. And then I got a vintage bum bag. So it's real leather. I am a sucker for a bum bag. I buy them and then sell them to my friend and I friend up using them. So I've tried to resist, but then I liked the khaki green colour of it and I thought it was quite cool. So I got that and I like the fact it was real leather. I got this cool cream vintage leather handbag, which again, I thought, because I'm into vintage stuff and that, I thought I'll probably use it a couple of times and then stick it on eBay or something or... I could maybe even sell a few bits on my Instagram if anybody would be interested. Um, Cause sometimes it's just nice to have like cool stuff, but I don't use it that much. So I might use it a couple of times and then sell it on. What do you think? Would anybody be interested? Or I have got a Depop shop, so I could probably put them on my Depop shop. Um, and I got this one. Look how beautiful this is. And it fascinated me because it's got this beautiful like uh, clasp. It's really, really nice. And it's beautiful inside. It has got, a little vintage chain as well but what was so lovely it also comes with the original little mirror Ta -da! how sweet is that i thought it was adorable so anyway that was everything i bought just love this as a clutch i thought it was so stylish you can imagine it quite it's quite big lot what a cool bag anyway let me know if i should sell some stuff on would anybody be interested because obviously i have got rather a lot of clothes <laughs> and bags anyway so let's go get that coffee oh and just like that we found some washing started to get tea underway and it's now quarter to five the day's just gone so fast Ooh, again right let's get it doled up so we've got this lovely fish which is this chip shop lighter one even if you're not losing weight or anything still try this it's absolutely beautiful james and ruby love it as well it's so nice and then we've got little chips as well that i've made a piece so there's the tea all doled up lovely so i have to enjoy it and of course my little friends are here with me oh, my tea was delicious in fact it was absolutely delicious so i've just made myself a final cup of coffee in my i love shopping mug oh, are you watching the weather with me <laughs> planning your weather tomorrow see if you can go for a walk or not for if it's going to rain oh i love how you're watching the deli <laughs> if it is i'm going to love you and leave you so many thanks for joining me again today i hope you've enjoyed it obviously managed to get out a bit get a bit of fresh air which was so nice which feels so much better and beautiful blue skies a bit of sunshine it's been lovely so many thanks again for all ruby's well wishes and big hugs to you if you're at home suffering or one of your relatives is suffering it's not nice at all so hopefully when we do test tomorrow, hopefully we will test negative, but she's still not very well, bless her. So I feel so sorry for her. So anyway, many thanks anyway for being there with us. So if you do enjoy just a bit of our life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. Don't forget my little website is down below if you'd like a mug of the day or a bag of the day. And my lovely little Avon shop is also down below. If you spend £20, you get free UK delivery straight to your door. So I love you, leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.